Hello and welcome to another video in the audiobook series where you're with me, Ryan the Dogman, as always. So today we're going to cover The Knights of McCrag. This is written by Nick Kime and it's narrated by Richard Reed. You can find this on the Black Library website and also Audible. I'll put the links in the description so you can find that quite easily. It has a running time of 11 hours and 29 minutes. So you could probably get this done in a weekend or something like that, just like I did. So what's this story about? So the story is centered around Cato Sicarius in the new Games Workshop 8th edition timeline. So this is after uh, Cady has fallen. This is set just as the Indominus Crusade is, is taking place. Uh, it's pretty much self-contained story that could lead to a follow-up, but I doubt it. This does feel like a one and done sort of sort of deal. But that's fine. It's a great book. So to get more into it, Cato's ship, which is called the Emperor's Will, early in the story gets stranded in the warp. Now for people that's not up to speed on the Games Workshop lore, the warp is the hell dimension that the Imperium used to reverse large distances between solar systems. So they have to travel through hell. The first half is half of the book is set on the ship itself and you can see what it's like for the ultramarine second company captain have to manage the needs of the crew of the ship and the marines under his command so kato has a number of books published by black library um, centered around him and they're all done by nick kine uh, but kato is a hero there's not much to show at least in my experience i've got this book and one audio drama so don't hate me in the comments um at least in that example there's not a lot of shown about Cato managing uh, as a captain more about him vanquishing foes as a hero so in this book you get to see him also do this as well and also what it's like for him to you know come to the terms that is also a captain and not just a hero so spoiler warning if you don't want to know they escape the warp back into the material space but their problems are only just starting they come to a world that they believe holds the material that they need to get back to McCrag. So again, for those people that are new, McCrag is their home planet. The planet that they come to, however, looks like it has regressed back to medieval ages of knights and kings and orcs. You know, that usual fantasy sort of setting. If you look in the Ultramarine supplement from Games Workshop, the, his entry tells you that he is missing and presumed to still be alive. The story in this book encapsulates the page in that codex. I've only listened to one other story, like I said before, that involves Cato Sicarius, and I can tell you now that 10 years, or leading up to 10 years in this hobby, I'm only just becoming an Ultramarines fan. I think you should pick this book up if you are a fan of the Black Library fiction. The action scenes are great and numerous, and the characters all have their moment in the spotlight and have their own story arc that runs parallel to Cato. I'm really excited to see where the 8th edition narrative goes. We haven't had a lot of examples of this since 8th edition started two years ago. There's been a few here and there, but nothing pushes the narrative forward as such a lot of their campaign releases to do with rules towards the game does this in its capacity but nothing like the black library has done so hopefully with the belisarius call book that is released as of recording tomorrow which is great i hope that you've enjoyed this little video on the knights of mccrag and i would suggest that you hit the notification bell and subscribe and do all that lo lovely youtube -y stuff because i'm going to do more stuff like this as i get through the backlog of audiobooks that i currently have on my audible library until the next time i will see you again peace